How's it going everyone? My name is Nuri Plays and welcome back to our 100 day drawing challenge. In this one we should be trying out some hairstyles, playing with some hair. And then yeah, that's it. That's our main goal. We just have one goal for today. It's building up our knowledge of random hairstyles specifically for women because we are drawing females. Gonna be drawing a lot of females. So just so you know, it's gonna be whamming. Okay, so I figured out how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at in Pinterest, kind of looking at my references here. Hopefully no naked people show up. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of what I don't want happening. But yeah, so for example, this one. The moment I saw this, I figured out what I was doing differently and what I was doing wrong. So let's go ahead and copy this and it will study it. Because that's what artists do. They just copy it and they st study this stuff. So if we paste it in here and then we make this a bit bigger, you will, will be able to spot this as well if you've drawn for a while. So what's going on here and why this is so good and why my hair was so bad is because this person has thought out where the scalp is on the head. They thought out how low the fringe goes, if there is a fringe. And they thought out the general shape of the hair. First, so if I sketch out a quick head first, I'm just going to skip ahead to when I finish sketching out a head. Screw it, that'll do for now. You know what? It's not the best looking head in the world because I'm still kind of washed with my line, line work here. But... Okay, here we go. So we're going to sketch the main shape of the head now. Try and kind of figure out a shape that I kind of want the hair to go into. You kind of draw it like a helmet, like it's a piece of cloth that you put over your head. So with the fringe, let's figure this out. I want the fringe to be like a, a middle part. And what usually happens with a middle part is you have like a split down the middle. And then the hair. We need it to be flowing. In a certain direction. And then fluid that way. You get me. <laughs> as weird as that looks, that's pretty much how they do it. And then that's the way the fringe would go. <laughs> that looks really funny. Then, on a new layer, I'm gonna try to draw it as cleanly as possible. One thing I can see already is that there's like overlapping elements to where you want the hair to go. You know what, why not just keep it carrying? Make it nice and fluid. I mean, I'm realizing that I'm just copying this, which is not good. So what I want is to just experiment with this a little bit. Let's draw the neck <laughs> real quick. Don't fill in the ears, because sometimes what hair does is it goes over the ears like this. So let's figure this out. In my case, I want the hair to go like over the ears like this. And then same over here. But in my case, since we're making the hair flow in this direction we're gonna and then there's the middle part as well to worry about so yeah we're gonna cut off the hair here and then maybe do a bit of that you can see our hair is starting to look a lot better i just need to maintain this kind of mood going on with the hair. So there's always hair behind as well. Behind the neck. Usually. 
in this hairstyle though there might not be I don't think but you know what we'll try it anyway kind of like this and then kind of sharpen up our lines here a little bit and on this side I want the ear to stick out so what you can do is just draw the ear like so and what a lot of artists do is they draw so stuff like this that comes out just out of the hair to give it some more complexity so in our case it would look something like that could give her a spike there just to really make it some messy hair and then obviously you would delete the line work that you don't need because it otherwise it gets in the way and you don't know what's going on you want to be able to tell what's going on with your hair that's like the main idea and I noticed that anime hair so the scalp would usually be here which I can see an issue with. Actually, no, I can't. So it all just go into there. Kind of like this. Uh, obviously, get rid of a dot. <laughs> you don't want you don't want a dot taking over. Not today. then the flow of the hair I'm gonna cut off the ear <laughs> like so so shoom shoom so that would be like our hair now this isn't a great example we need like a photo reference of the hair we would want to draw because I can't really use my imagination right now because I haven't drawn enough hairstyles so what we're gonna do instead of this this is basically me guessing I'm not drawing based on reference I'm not drawing based on any hairstyles I've learnt so it's obviously not gonna look great um, so that's the problem this person probably drew a lot of hairstyles uh, so they have an idea of how the hair works here, how it's shaped and stuff like that. So you know what, let's find some hairstyles, like actual photos of hairstyles and try to work with that. Okay, here's a great example. Okay, so let's paste it in and then let's study this. What we wanna, again, what we did with the gesture drawing for day one, we wanna do with this, but for the hair and the head only. So only for the portrait. So if, for example, if we, I need to turn on opacity again. Okay, so the head, just nail that down. Eyes, chin line. Okay, and here we go. So the air is usually dropped below the slime. Like this. And then, We'll break down the shape of the head on another layer. This is what I'm doing. I'm just layering and doing things on different layers. So now we can turn off the opacity control. And then draw the basic head shape. What I've noticed with my drawing as well is that it's really skewered. And what most people do is they flip their drawing so they mirror it so that they can see if their drawing is consistent and symmetrical because otherwise it will end up like what mine is doing and it won't end up as symmetrical as you would want it to be 
Yeah, I'm realizing this line is actually wrong now as well. Because what the problem I had is uh, when I do this stroke, it's always curved. I can never get like a curve in the other direction. I find it very difficult. Okay, here we go. So that's good. Basically, we won't draw the eyes in and stuff like that yet. The reason why I stopped those lines where I stopped them is because that's where the hair begins. So then we start with the scalp. You can see the scalp is like right there. Right there. And then again, I was right, so basically stems up and curves around like this. It probably goes even more outwards. So like, needs to be a fluid line. Yeah, something like this. And then from up here, we do the same. Ignore these areas here. And then we have to figure out where the hair kind of stops. So if we draw the neck, right there, like so, we can then figure out where the hair ends. So the hair ends pretty much at the bottom of the neck, so about there. So if we just get rid of that, then we basically have our basic shape for the hair. And then from then, we figure out the fringe. So again, the fringe kinda goes like this. At the same time, look at the way the hair is flowing. It's flowing towards this line there. We're actually gonna get rid of that line now. What some artists also do is they mark out where the hairline is. So the hairline would be around there, which means a bit more hair. Just move it a bit higher up. And then what happens is the fringe usually overlaps from, because you can see the fringe going out like this. I'll draw it over red just so that you guys can see. So it goes out and then in, but then you also have this hip bit here, which is basically this bit. So if I go back, that, that line can stay, but let's do a little bit of this, and then it goes down into the neck actually, like this. Then that's kind of how the hair flows. You <laughs> again, you can see how I have a tendency to do a lot of instead of doing these, I do a lot of that. That doesn't speak a lot of confidence into the drawing. Yeah, so if we break down the general shape, it would be something like this, and then, and then the hair does something crazy here. <laughs> and it, because it goes out like this, there's one single strand that goes out. Oh, that's actually insane. But it comes from higher up, so it goes like that. And then the rest of the hair kind of follows suit. I've always struggled with hair personally. 
because of how complex hair can be. We'll kind of do something like that now. So in terms of like anime, I'm pretty... Again, this is not even like following the right head shape because the hairline... Okay, so you know what? We need to put this upwards. A fair bit. That's a lot more accurate looking. Still not as accurate as I'd want it to be, but... You know what, that works. Again, scratchy lines, but it's to get the main idea across the ear. Doing the hair. We shaded this in. To basically indicate that it's fully in shadow there. Then it works. You know, the, the hair works. Then we do a brow line. Let's zoom in a bit. I haven't zoomed in at all this episode, which is kind of weird. Usually I would have zoomed in by now. You know what? We ended up with that. Which is not bad. Um, not quite the mature art style I'm going for. But the hairstyle is not bad. Okay, you know what? I feel like this one's just gonna kick my ass, but that's what you like. You like difficulty here. It's good training. So here we go. I'm gonna try it. Let's try draw some hair. And then at the end of this, we'll try draw some of our own hair. Let's see how much we've improved.
Okay, so that's the hair example that I just worked on. It took me a while because trying to adapt the style of the hair to an anime style is also another hurdle that I need to get over and it's it's pretty difficult just trying to figure out like where I'm simplifying down the shapes of the hair because I've never done that before I've never done that before in drawing I've always kind of winged my hair uh, the way I've always wanted to wing my hair uh, so I never really got very far with that but it's cool that I'm like noticing these things now whereas I wasn't really noticing that before uh, but yeah there we go there's the nose <laughs> <laughs> very weird mouth, very skeptical mouth. I feel like the mouth is also huge. Let's change the mouth, make it a bit smaller. Let my brain think. Another big problem is when I draw, I never let my brain think. I kind of just go into the spot with drawing. And that's probably why it turns out how it turns out. You don't really want to wing it like this. Again, I feel like the eyes are different sizes and stuff like that as well. So it's kind of, it's kind of tough getting, <laughs> getting first the hair and then mapping the face with the hair. Let's draw an open mouth. Screw it. Why not? Why the hell not? <laughs> Usually anime mouths are like hella small. Or if we did lips, it would look something like, like this. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep the lips. As weird as I am with drawing lips, let's keep the lips. There we go. So that would be kind of like my interpreted hairstyle from that photo. And now that we've studied two of these, let's try come up with our hairstyle selves. So basically, the fringe is one shape is what I've learned. The background is another shape. And then the deepest background bit is a shape in itself. So if we compare this sketch to this sketch, we've already made huge progress just from that to that. I can tell that hairstyle is a lot better on this one than it is on this one, which is kind of crazy to think about. But that's because the sketch behind it, this was also a lot cleaner. So I feel like I could work around it a lot easier. So. This is why I tell you to get your gesture drawing down from day one, because if you don't have it, your sketching will be very sloppy um, and then working on top of that will be terrible as well. Okay, now the time you've been waiting for, let's try draw our own little uh, portrait like this with its own hairstyle. Uh, this time I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna basically take a reference and draw this time. So I'm gonna find something I like. Let's do that before we go. Okay, so I found a reference for kind of how I want the art style to look like. And now we're gonna basically in the lower half here, just draw a portrait in this kind of style. So what we have to look out for is basically how the eyes are made, how the lips are shaped up. Apart from that, we should be good to go. And basically how the hair is shaped and formatted. Because this is kind of more of a painting than it is a drawing. But trying to imagine this without color is kind of a skill in itself. I think this is even AI out, as far as I'm aware. Because there's a lot of weird things like the ear is very fat here but yeah let's give it a shot uh, with our own little hairstyle 
So, let's try it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna finish that one out. I think I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think I could already see improvement in how we perceive things like differently. Like my hair, uh, I made a very big improvement here towards the end of that because I realized the balance is out of whack. Like the distance between her eye and the hairline was really short. So what I did was just thicken this area up a, a lot. To kind of keep this balance between this side and this side. So you know what? I'm very happy about how that turned out. Even like the eyes. I'm not very good at eyes usually. But I know that these are some of the best eyes I drew recently. It's actually pretty crazy. This is such a good drawing. And we've come such a long way. In just being able to use my imagination and just see things differently. It's so cool. I actually love this drawing so much. Uh, one thing to maybe take away for the next uh, episode, so tomorrow, is probably heads. I need good practice at drawing heads from different angles because I suck at drawing heads that are not facing forward. And the reference was a head pointed in a different angle so i've never really drawn this angle a whole lot before so i think next time we're gonna draw heads from a different angle a lot more rather than straight ahead but i'm super stoked and happy with this drawing man like for real the hair turned out awesome um most of my inspiration for the hair was from this because i saw the bangs that they were like 
square. They were really square. And then what, uh, what most paintings do is they also like draw on these strands of hair that also like go everywhere, you know what I mean? But we're gonna get to that once we're messing around with color, but for now, black and white is gonna be the way. Just making sure we get the best sketch and the best clean lines before we start coloring anything in. Okay, so as always, hope you guys enjoyed the result. And as always, if you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe. Apart from that, I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace out.